All right, so today's topic, actually, I was trying to think. A lot of the week, I've been like running around, doing different things, taking photos, trying to be spontaneous and trying to create content for a video just because of what I feel like I should put on for a daily vlog. And you know, I do want these videos to be entertaining, at least to me. But I've also realized that there's been a, a, a lack of mindfulness in my life. Just have not been, I feel like I haven't been really in front of the decision, the decisions that I've been making. I think more so, than a video content problem. It's more of a organize your life kind of thing. So kind of want to just get myself in order. And by that, I mean, take some time each day, like get a better handle on my schedule, my life schedule, <laughs> you know, re reflect on the day and plan out the next day. And that might be like what I'm going to talk about for this today's vlog, actually. And I didn't just have a spur of the moment. I was actually thinking about that in the morning when I got up and just, I think, I think, this will help with, you know, my producing better content on the daily for this vlog. Because making videos every single day actually is a lot of work, but I think there is a good and clear way to do it effectively um, with what I've got. I mean, I've already streamlined the process quite a bit, so. Anyways, today, mindfulness. Close this bag. Just made a quick mention earlier about the whole uh, mindfulness thing and being ahead of, like, you know, my day. And then here, headed into, like, a yoga yoga event, you know, free yoga class, but did not bring a yoga mat and I'm wearing jeans. So prepared, smart. Hmm. So yoga was really fun. I didn't vlog at all while I was in there just because I didn't have my camera and I actually wanted to participate this time but had to go out and get food afterwards because I need to eat and uh, found this. Ugly fruit. It's ugly fruit. Hey look, using the mic bait. So I've been loving this microphone by the way. Like it's just, it's just really convenient to be able to put it down somewhere and capture really great audio. And I wouldn't actually have to hold it to get really good audio. I just kind of like holding it and um, anyways, so today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about mindfulness in part just because I feel like I've been kind of like behind the curve in terms of like events and things that I've been working on in my own life. Uh, for instance, like all the events and things that I've been going to, they're great and I was making a conscious decision to go to them. The definition of mindful, like to be mindful, is to be conscious and aware and sometimes you feel like when you're just on the grind, you're just working all the time for that next thing that it's, you forget to stop and as cliched as it sounds, to stop and smell the roses. Like you just keep on going forward and you almost get to this point where you're so used to working and to, you know, working and producing and creating that you almost, you're almost on autopilot. That, that, that becomes your default mode of operating. So uh, when it comes to like, you know, I'm making a daily vlog, I'm committed to finishing 365 videos, but I want to begin to create consistently create more meaningful and better content. I've been saying that over and over and over again. I feel like I have the talent and skill to turn almost any situation into an interesting video, provided I approach that event intentionally before just running in there, you know, cameras blazing, <laughs> if you will, uh, and trying to create something out of, out of almost randomness on my part. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing a client video, that's not that difficult. Like I have an intention, there's some meetings beforehand on what needs to get captured to really bring out the feel and the essence of that event or that, you know, that was, what, what they need. Um, but on the day to day, um, I've just really not been doing any of that for myself. It's the same idea, I think, when it comes to marketing and branding work. It's really easy for me to look at someone else, like even with the podcast, to look at someone, an entrepreneur, a creative, anyone, and find the story in what like in their life and in what they're sharing and what they're doing but i'm not so good at doing that for myself um actually i feel like i might be pretty bad at it actually like seeing the value in what i produce and like seeing um the talent and what's good about the things that i make being mindful and in my in the day in my daily life is a big part of that and i think i just haven't been taking the time to really do that like if i'm being perfectly honest like full disclosure here i haven't meditated in, in uh, like a week two weeks three weeks maybe even not not three weeks but two weeks probably haven't actually sat down and meditated on a regular basis that was on my mind for the day i'm probably gonna throw in some more medita meditation and reflection and just like writing to jot down notes and like plant out my days 
What's that? I haven't said like get out more, but I mean like get out and like do some more traveling. So I've been looking at this guy, Alistair Humphreys. He's also on YouTube. I'll throw up a little thing uh, for his channel somewhere in here and a link in the description. But he is a guy who does micro adventures. And I've been reading his, uh, his newsletter for a while about just traveling and his philosophy towards just going places and seeing things. And it's not like I've been loving this concept of, you know, adventuring in your backyard. Um, where it's you you just go somewhere and you you walk and you just take your time to to travel and you don't have to go that like you know you don't have to fly across the world to have an adventure you can do so in your backyard but you can also fly around the world and there's a way to do that and he talks about this um, but I've been loving this idea of just exploring like seeing the world from where you are because very often this whole idea that I've been running with of not being mindful, not seeing myself and taking the time to look at what's right in front of me and plan to do that. Um, we do that as well when it comes to travel. Like we always feel like you have to get out and go somewhere to, to experience something different. Um, but very often right in front of us there is something to be experienced that we've not experienced in our life. And anyways, I'll include, like he tells it very well. He has a YouTube channel as well, so I'll make sure I include all the links for his stuff. But I've been loving his content and just think that travel would be a cool part to to incorporate more of into my life. Um, and, and also it would make for good video content. That's about it for now. Um, just ranting and trying to throw over some relevant B-roll from past videos to make this a little bit less boring. But thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.